Any images or videos you have on your computer, we can put in a 3D art gallery, which you can then send to your friends and let them walk around in your amazing creation. And we're going to do this in less than five minutes. Here we go. Open up your Epic Games launcher. Make sure you're on Unreal Engine. Go to Marketplace, free, permanently free collection. Scroll down, find the art fashion thing here. Click it and then create a project with it. Name it whatever you want. Hit create and then find the project in your library and open it up. Once you're inside, you can hide or unhide all the decals with G. And this is your character right here. Now, if we press play, we will move with the character around the gallery, but I don't like this back of his, so we're gonna remove that later. But for now, let's just head straight into adding your own images into this gallery. So from here, I want you to uncheck all of these blue highlighted icons in the top that will turn off the snapping. Then go to the plus icon up here, Go to Shapes, Cube, and then drag the cube a bit closer to the wall, like this. Then start scaling the cube so it fits the canvas behind it. So you're basically creating a new canvas on top of the old one, like this. Then hold in Alt on your keyboard and drag it to your right. So you duplicate it and then drag it to your left. So now you have three empty canvases ready for your images. And I have prepared free images on my desktop. They can be any images on your computer. So you select them, drag them into your content browser here. And then from here, you can now drag them one by one on the empty canvases. So image number one, number two, and number three. Great. So they might appear a bit darker than you want them to. So you can go up to the plus icon up here again and go to lights and then spotlight, press G to see the spotlights where it will light up, like these little lines will show you where it lights. So you can rotate it towards your painting, open the details tab, and then crank the intensity up to whatever suits you. So now you can see if you hide this with G, the Super Mario painting is very highlighted in comparison to the other two. So you can unhide with G again, and then you can move the light around wherever you want. If you just wanna highlight one, hold in Alt to duplicate. If you wanna highlight all of the free images, and now you can see light is flooding each of the image, bringing out the contrast more. Now, around this gallery of yours, there are several art objects hanging around, and you can drag and drop your textures, your images, just like you did with the paintings on these objects as well. So here, if you drag this on, you can see this little art piece now has your image on it. And you can try this on different things. So if we move the glass here out of the way, and I'll try this link one, which looked absolutely horrible, then you can try the Mario one, and this one looked a little bit better. Not sure if it will sell online, but I like it anyway. And yeah, feel free to experiment and try it all around the gallery. Now, obviously every art piece needs to have your name on it. So if you zoom in close to an art piece, then you have this little text thing where you can put in your own credits, you mark it, open up the detail panel, check for the text render box, and then you can change the text here to anything you want. So here I put Mario Knight, perfect. And then you can open it again to change it to your name, whatever you wanna have it. So I'm gonna say by you. Perfect, so now you can do this for every art piece and maybe after 500 times, somebody will start recognizing your name, who knows. Now we're almost done. I just want to remove the ugly back piece of the model when you're walking around. So select your model, your character, open up the detail panel, click edit the blueprint up here. And don't worry if this looks much, just go to the viewport tab here and then select the camera, move the camera slightly beyond the head and then click compile. Okay, and now when you play, you will look from the first person perspective. And last but not least, to send this to your friend, you will want to send this as a .exe, so an executable. It's very easy, just click Platforms, Windows, Package Project, select the folder where you want it to go, and hit Select, and it will start packaging your game. Once it's done, you will find the application in the folder, you can double click it, and voila, you're in the game. Make sure you send all of these files as a zip package to your friend, and then they can open it and enter your gallery. So that's the end of part one. In part two, I'll show you how to do moving images like this. Thanks for watching and enjoy.